Odds are what? It's a game. What kind of game? We pick a range of numbers between 1 and 10. It could be 1 to 5, 5 to 10, 1 to 10, whatever. OK, we pick a number within that given range, and then we both say our numbers out loud. If we pick the same number, you have to accept the challenge. Challenge? See that guy with the ice cream? The guy with the black socks? You have to take a bite of his ice cream, and you have to ask him in Chinese. <laughs> no way. What? You're in your third year of Mandarin. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I'm fluent. What? You scared? Brian's missing the fear gene. Really? I guess we're still in the discovery phase of our relationship. OK. Pick a number between one and six. Four. <laughs> no, you keep it in your head, and then you both say it. OK, I got it. OK. Two, 
I can do this to you too, right? Mm -hmm. Look at him. <laughs> Good. You can eat this, right? You got the wrong guy. Come on. Break your face a little, schoolboy. That was fun. Yeah, and what would you have done if he caught you? I would have ratted you two out. Hmm. I got one. Odds are you asked that guy in the rings for his autograph. Who's he supposed to be? Ryan Gosling. He looks nothing like him. Exactly. Three to six. You okay. count. One, two, three, four. four. What'd you say? That I loved him in La La Land. What did he say? He thought he did his best work in drive. Hey, let's go swimming. It's 59 degrees. It's like 40. Feels more like 58. No, it's 59. Odds are Tracy goes body surfing. I can do this one. Come on, it's your girlfriend's turn. I said I'd do this. Hey, Captain America. You don't have to do this. It's stupid. How about we do the consecutive number thing? Two to three, seven to eight? If we don't say the same number, then I'll go in. Will that make you happy, Tracy? Orgasmic. Good one. Four to five, Tracy calls me. One, two, three. Four. four. <laughs> three in a row. It happens. You don't, you don't have to do it. She's underestimating you. Will you grab me a towel from the car? Get it yourself. No, I'll get it. Thank you. She's well trained. Shut up. I'll yeah. Or don't! Freezing my ass off!
dead. I'm alive. <laughs> Ryan, she is not happy. I have a towel. <laughs> Fuck off. I, 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 I thought you were drowning. I, I, I thought you were drowning. I'm sorry. Leave me alone. Why are you so Leave sorry? me alone. I'm trying to stop. Alone. Tracy, come on. Get out of here. my way. Leave me alone. I'm sorry. Give me my gym back. Here. I swam underwater a hundred yards and I came up down the beach. You're a little distracted. Yeah? You can hold your breath that long? Yeah. Actually, uh, I read this thing on David Blaine. He learned how to hold his breath for 14 minutes. He did it last year in bio for his midterm experiment. He made it over five minutes before the professor freaked out and called the school nurse. <laughs> That was pre-Tracy. Yeah, thanks for telling me. I thought he drowned. Love is like a booger. You keep picking at it until you get it and then wonder what to do with it. Oscar Wilde. What the hell is that? It's about first love and its consequences. How do you know this was my first love? A wild guess. And Ryan was yours. Wild guess. Do you guys have protective sex? Excuse me? Never mind. None of my business. Yeah, that's an understatement. Odds are you open the sunroof, stick your head out, and keep driving. No way. What about the brake and gas? I got it. Yeah, how about dropping me off first? Uh, I think it could work. Okay. I'll tell you which part of the press. Got him. Okay. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, that was cool. Let's do it for real this time. Same Vicente? No, the freeway. Okay, one through ten. Okay. High risk, long odds. Tracy, count. No. I got it. One, two, three. Four. Eight. <laughs> You're both crazy. Anybody hungry? Last drumstick? Hmm? <sighs> Here we are. One more game, please. Uh, Clippers game is in 15 minutes. Tracy hasn't done one yet. Okay, what's your challenge, or whatever you call it? Drive. Ryan. Drop me off first. This is the last one, I promise. Drive. Okay, where do you want me to drive? Oh, just turn at the end of the street. Here? Yes. This looks like a good place. A good place for what? Picking a house. Oh, stop here. This will work. Odds are Tracy knocks on the door and figures out a way to be invited in. And then? All she has to do is get across the threshold, and then she can go home. Threshold? Are we in a Bronte sisters novel? I'll do it. Oh, boyfriend to the rescue again. Shut up. I got this. All right, if you want, we can do the two number range thing. If we don't call the same number, it's mine. Eight to nine? Ryan calls it. One, two, three. Nine. Eight. Remember to cross the threshold.
No one's home. Let's go. She was just supposed to get in and get out. Did you see who it was? No. He was hidden behind the door. Well, does she get extra points for this? Not if I miss the game. What is she doing? Shit. What? It went straight to voicemail. This would be the first text of my entire life that she hasn't responded to in five seconds. Can we go? She can just Uber. I'm not just gonna leave her here. Ryan, stop. I just got this from Kelly's phone. This has to be a joke. It's from her phone. I didn't even know she has my number. I... She's messing with us. Like, I know you guys have been friends forever, but she's got a strange sense of humor. What are you gonna do? Wait for me over there. I'll be right back. What? Wait for me over there. I'll be okay.
hold on. Oh, oh, Jackal, Jackal, hold, 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 hold. Hi, doggy. He's, he's very friendly. He, you can pet him. He doesn't have mean bone in his body. He's a puppy. Hi. Come on, calm down, calm down. <laughs> good boy, good boy. Take it easy, Chaco. Take it easy, Chaco. <laughs> He doesn't listen so well. He listens to my wife, but he gives me a hard time. <laughs> oh, zip, zip. <laughs> Do you know who lives there? Um, no, um, a friend of mine is inside. Your friend knows him? No, she's uh, doing a survey. At this time of night? We lost track of time. Yeah. As Yogi Berra said, it's later, earlier this time of year. <laughs> yeah, he's a good dog. You know, we looked everywhere for this dog and... You know what? There's something you should know. The guy that lives here, he has a history. His wife disappeared like eight years ago. He was the prime suspect. He did it. I know. I was a detective on the case. They never found her. A couple of years later, he beat up his new girlfriend and got six months. It would have been longer, but he had the money to fight it. Actually, it was his wife's money. Guess you could call that ironic. I walk past here every night stop and look at the place, hoping he sees me. texted me. She's going to be right out. I'll be glad to ring the bell. No. Um, she's fine. You sure? Yes. All right. Come on, Chop.
Yeah. What were you doing up there? Looking for Kelly. These fucking rats or squirrels. You shouldn't have come in here. Well, I was freaked out, standing out there, and then you weren't answering my text. Yeah, well, my phone died. 
We need to get out of here. We need to find Kelly. We don't even know who she's in the house. She is. The tracking app on my phone said she's in here somewhere. Hide in the bathroom, lock the door. If he comes in, bash his fucking brains out, all right? Just hold on to the phone. If he texts you, just make sure you keep checking it. No, take it. It's better with you. Go. Please, please, look, look, I'm right here! Just... 
I think it's time we had a chat. If you want to save your friend. There's a extension ladder on the side of the house. Come on. Come on up. Let's have a chat. You should lose that. I know it's not a very original deterrent, but it's very effective. Go Second Amendment! In all seriousness, I am uh, for stricter background checks and the complete elimination of the sale of assault weapons. I'm just saying that. Where is she? Why did you ring my doorbell? Why'd you break into my house? It was a game. It was random. We didn't... Oh, it's just random? Yes. We didn't mean to get anyone upset, okay? Just tell me where she is and I'll leave, not tell anyone what happened. You would do that? So I could draw up a document saying things to that effect and 
We could take it over to the 24-hour notary? <laughs> Just tell me what you want me to do. Good. What are you majoring in college? Are you fucking serious? Justin? Just tell me, give me an idea of the uh, field of expertise you want to focus on. Computer science. You mind if I make a suggestion? History. I know it's the poor stepchild in today's academia, but history is about change, about envisioning it and putting it into context. It prepares you for critical thinking. Oh, well, computer science, yeah, you're gonna learn how to write code, but it does not necessarily encourage original thought. Please, please, shut up, shut up, okay? I'll do anything, I'll do anything. Okay. Let's play the game. A game? Yeah, no, the, no game. Let's play your game. If you can successfully execute the task, then you get to be a hero and save your friend. All right. Odds are you jump off this roof into my pool. What? <laughs> it's not impossible. It's a, it's a trough pool. So it's 3.5 feet on either end, but 5.5 feet right in the middle, and that would be the preferred target. How does that help get Kelly out of the box? Mm. In there, you'll find an envelope with a phone in it. There'll be a number with an access code to a voice message. You dial there, there'll be one message, and it'll have the whereabouts of your friend. How do I know you're not bullshitting me? <laughs> you don't. But your options are kind of limited, huh? If you're lucky, just break a leg. And then you could, like, doggy paddle over to the side and you kind of... Hobble yourself into the guest house. It'll work out. Ouch. Might like the way your mind works.
Penny isn't even. It means that the skate wasn't properly lined up with the wheel. One edge will be a little higher. I used to do this before every one of my son's practices. Huh. Until they took him away from me. It kind of makes me feel like he's still here.
Doggy. I'll be back.
Nice work. Where's Ryan? What? No, hey, where's the girl? Just tell me where they are, and we'll leave, and we'll forget this ever happened. Your boyfriend offered that same thing. It's too late. The girl's still alive, but house rules still apply, so... You leave, it's all over for her. What did you do to him? You just played your game. What the fuck does that mean? Oh, what is it? You and you kids with your foul mouths, it's disturbing. You're fucking disturbing! Where is he? Well, last time I saw him, he said he was going for a swim. <gasps> Jesus! It's me! Are you okay? Yeah, it could be better. What happened? Oh, he chased me in the basement. I hit him and I thought he was out, but he just popped up on the screen. Saying the same shit, you know? You're what? Are you okay? Yeah, I took a jump off the high dive. Wasn't my idea. Here. Tell you this, it doesn't work. I'll be right back. Wait. I'll be right back. Jesus! It's me! Stop doing that! I didn't find her. But I found the dead guy in the basement. Oh, the guy with the dog. Yeah. Oh, fuck. He was just trying to help. What is that? I found it downstairs. She was standing on this stool with this noose around her neck. You didn't tell me that. Yeah, well, I didn't want to scare you. Didn't want to scare me? What's that? I don't know, it looks like a rig. Break a fall, maybe. What fall? When I looked through the window into the house, she was standing on this stool. Someone pulled it out from under her. It looked like she broke her neck. I mean, he must have staged it. Staged it? This is totally fucking twisted. What is this? Is that us? I don't know, I can't really tell. Holy shit. She knew him. What do you mean? He's taking pictures of us at the beach and an hour later we're at his house? Doesn't make any sense. Then you explain it to me. What was he doing there? You knew about it. What are you, what are you saying? That's insane. You and her did all of this. You screwed with me at the beach and you got me in here and now I'm here. No, stay away from me. He tried to kill me too. How? He played the game with me. He, he knew about the game? Yeah, he must have made Kelly tell Me, him. Kelly! She was in on it, and so are you! Why would I have shown you this stuff? She 
She's not here. What do you mean she isn't here? Still tracking her. On the four or five going north. We've got to go after them. What? Prince died on the shit. He was 57 and weighed 100 pounds. We gotta go. They turn on to the 14. Get some sleep. Here. Why'd we stop? We need gas. Uh, I'll, I'll pump. Can you get me a Red Bull or something? Yeah. Here. Die in that fucking box. She doesn't have to. Fuck! She lived with us for six months. We were both 11 years old and she was a foster kid. That much I know about you. So she was like my sister. You're gonna have to do better than that. My dad was a drunk. A bad drunk. One night he comes home and he just starts beating me. For no reason. He never needed one. Hitting me with his fist, totally out of control. Knocked, knocked out a tooth, broke a couple ribs. Kelly wakes up and finds me in the kitchen. She just looks down at me. Doesn't say anything. 
but I know what she's going to do. He was passed out on the bed. She hits him like five times. I couldn't stop her. She killed him? Would have been better off. Now he's just sitting in one of those homes watching cartoons 24-7. My only regret is that I didn't do it myself. Kelly? She ran away, hit onto the pier. It's where she went when she was scared, still does. What happened to her? She went juvie for a year, bounced around like nine foster homes. We always kept in touch. better not be bullshit. It isn't. They're not that far away. I dropped a pin. What's the plan if we find him? I don't know. He has a gun. Yeah, I remember. I'll deal with it. This isn't a game. Yeah, we can write about it for our senior thesis. Yeah? How do we explain the dead body in the basement? They're close. They turned off the road. Slow down. Turn here. Here. Really? Yes. <sighs> There's nothing there. Just go, go, go. Where now? Follow this path. That's it. That's it. Go. G go. Go closer. It's them. I guess we'll find out. Where's my knife? I have it. G give it to me. No. We should call the police now. He's probably seen us. Give me the knife. No. You open it. One, 
Two. Ah. Three. Kelly! Uh. What the fuck? Where is she? What the fuck is going on me? Where is she? Where is she? What? I don't... I don't know. I don't know where she is. What she is was it? in I, this box. What? She was in that box. I, I, it was a, my plan. It was her plan. What plan? And she changed the plan. I've got a plan. Odds are, I lock you in this box and I fucking leave you here. No! No! Wrong answer. Wait! What are you doing? No! Come back! I swear I don't know where she is! Where are you going? Don't do this! Hey! Come back! What are we doing here? Ah! We went back inside? 
Did anyone see you? No. What are we gonna do with him? But I had nothing to tell her. It made me sick to my stomach. We didn't kill him. He died because of us. We can't think of it like that. Then how else do we think about it? We have to get our story straight. Why? For our senior thesis? Where are you going? To get a tetanus shot. I've been coming here every morning for the last two weeks. Just like Ryan. Mm. He told me about our super secret meeting place. Who was he to you? I did a project on him for sociology. I thought it would be cool to see if he could convince himself he didn't kill his wife. 
You know, how the mind plays tricks with itself. We got along. He liked me. I treated him like he was a normal person. You're crazy. <laughs> I got an A. He wasn't a textbook sociopath. He had an IQ of like 160. It was really interesting. We became friends. I didn't think he'd get carried away like that. We had it all planned out. Oh, you mean like having Ryan jump off a roof? Stabbing me with an ice pick? Killing a neighbor who was walking his dog? That wasn't supposed to happen. Who turned out the lights and locked me in the basement? The phony hanging? Whose idea was the box? One day he asked me if I had a recurring nightmare. I told him, waking up in a coffin. So, this is how you'll sleep. a minute. That was supposed to be the last surprise. All right. And you were, you were okay in this box? Yeah. It's not too tight? You'll be fine. <sighs> You're gold. That's too tight. You didn't play by our rules. So what would have happened if we picked the same number? He wouldn't have let you in. We would have all gone home. You didn't think I was good enough for Ryan, did you? No. I'm sorry. Look, I really am, but there's nothing we can do about it now. You're wrong. There's something.
Thank you.